Peace be with you, friends, and thank you, Mr. Vilela, for the reminder and the beautiful prayer. Uh, based on what we have heard on Wednesday, Bishop invited all of us to spend one minute in the chapel. So I'd like to propose to start this uh, activity today and invite anyone who is uh, available, uh, willing to spend a couple of minutes at 11.30, when we'll uh, reflect on uh, this Sunday's readings, uh, just pray for families or anything that might be in our hearts just come in and be for a minute two five maybe a half hour whatever it works for you if you cannot make it today to our chapel uh there's a beautiful event happening at annunciation of our lord parish tonight from six to seven and it's called the adoration of the blessed sacrament when people get to spend some time with jesus face to face in, in silence and afterwards there is the stations of the cross from seven till about seven thirty so that's a great activity or a time to spend uh, during Lent and in increasing and enhancing our time on prayer. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. Good morning, STM. My name is Dominique. And my name is Shama, and here are your announcements for today. The novice girls volleyball coaches want to congratulate their team on a job well done this season. We are extremely proud of the growth of each and every player dis displayed on and off the court this season. We wish you all the best in the future. From your coaches, Ms. Tilston and Ms. Barkley. Last night in boys hockey action, your Knights in a total team effort came from behind down two to defeat St. Mary's 5-3 in the semifinal game. Julian Carboni led the way with two goals, Liam Ryerson and Rogan Monaghan had one apiece, and Joey Sinclair notched the game winner along with two helpers. The team now advances to the championship game next Thursday. Congratulations to the Junior Girls Volleyball team with their semifinal win against ACMT. They will play in our home gym next Thursday for the championship. Please come out and support them. Go Knights! Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. Attention STM community, I'm Haley. And I'm Vigno. Our Blackstone Association will be hosting an incredible bake sale and we'll have an assortment of delectable treats waiting just for you. This will be taking place on Tuesday, Feb Tuesday, February 20th during periods 2, 3, and 4. Every purchase supports the Black, the Black Afro-Canadian Caribbean Association. A remarkable force for positive change in the Black community. Indulge our taste buds while making a meaningful impact. Bring your friends and your sweet tooth. Let's turn this bake sale into a celebration of generosity and community support. Thanks, STM. Good morning, STM. Yesterday, we, for the first time ever, hosted the City Wrestling Championships uh, here in our own gym. It was so exciting. Before I get into everything, I just want to thank the people that made this all happen. So to our administration, who was super supportive and was on site the whole time. They're incredible. Phys Ed Department for relocating and supporting us as well. Uh, Ms. Alonji and Ms. Capito for helping organize everything. And um, to the fans because anybody who came in in their lunch, like it was, the gym was amazing, it was electric, and it makes me want to host it again. Like it was so fun. Um, for those of you who were there and saw one of our wrestlers got injured, I spoke to him last night, Barra is home, it's just muscle, muscle injury, but whenever somebody says they hurt their neck or their back, we always take every precaution, and um, yeah, he was taken out in an ambulance, and he's totally fine, just a little stiff today. And then, uh, thank you to Ms. Napoleoni and Mr. Medeiros, who are my coaches, who like I couldn't literally do it without them. They are incredible and support this team and this program and everything we do. So they are amazing. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the girls first. This is quite fitting that there's only two because we only had five girls compete yesterday. But quality over quantity, we still came second as a team. And there were seven teams here yesterday. It's the first time ever that there are all seven Catholic high schools have programs. So super exciting for Hamilton wrestling. So our girls came second, uh, and everybody medaled. So Krista Coleman came third, and then we have Ali Kress, Sylvia, and Juliana, who both, oh, all three came second. And we had one city champion, and that was Jennifer the Tank Di Medeiros. So um, congratulations to our awesome women's team. And then I'm going to talk about the boys in just a second. Here we go, and here are my Habibis, okay. <laughs> Our team, this, this program, these boys are just something else. Uh, before I get into individual results, the team scores were so close between us, BR, and SJB that they had to recount three times. 
We ended up coming second, but it was so close, and it makes us super pumped for GHAC this week because, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. We're pretty excited about that. So on the boys' side, we had six city champions. Six. Incredible. Our, uh, from smallest to biggest, we had Marquise Jones in the lightweight, then Mohammed Al Shadat. Here, there is good. Then we had Aiden Cook. Aiden here got fourth at GHAC last year, fourth or fifth, and then has been training his butt off since last year. And in the finals, he beat a grade 13 wrestler from BR who is a placer at OFSA and who took away his OFSA spot last year. And he put on a clinic in the finals. So congratulations, Aiden Cook. Grade 10, pretty awesome. Our whole team is very young. Yusuf says he's in grade 11. I think he might be older than me. But, um, and then we have Luke Bast oh, no, sorry. Then next we go to Yusuf Akrabawi, who is STM's first ever wrestling three times city champion in grade 11. So congratulations, Yusuf. Then we had Luke Bastoyung, who also got first, and Owen Monahan. And so um, I'm just gonna talk quickly about a couple wrestlers. Phoenix Santi got second yesterday, who this is, he put it all together for this tournament and did extremely well. Um, Michael Asari Kawaki, who won his first medal last week, got second at the city championships, losing to an offset placer, um, probably also champion this year, well, unless Michael can stop him, um, in the finals. So Michael had the tournament of his life and was incredible. We had also a grade nine, Nathan Evangelista, who in, a, in Aiden's weight division came third. It was a very stacked weight division and he made the podium. So very proud of them. Um, and then we had one, an outstanding wrestler of the whole tournament. And that was really exciting because it was one of our own wrestlers. And that was Luke Bastoyan, who was the MVP of the whole tournament. And if you follow Luke's journey, um, it was extra special. And the people who watched him win, you couldn't even, when I said the podium and he came up, it took a long time for people to stop cheering for actually give out medals. So um, it was a really exciting day yesterday. And if you saw it, that was awesome. So thank you. This team, um, I said it yesterday, they lost as well as they won. They lost with dignity, they kept their heads up, there was no fighting, there was no, dis like our team, my coach is telling me how incredible our team was yesterday in terms of how they behaved and how they were graceful winners and losers. Um, I couldn't be more proud of this team and I'm really excited for GHAC next week. So if you see these people around the halls, congratulate them because it was uh, an awesome team effort. So thanks STM for the support. <laughs>